G cold and flu season is here, but some of those over-the-counter decongestants we all flock to for relief might not help with congestion at all. Fox 13 News reporter Darian De Bruel has details on what the FDA is saying about cold and allergy medicines and what could be alternatives. For decades, phenylephrine, also known as PE, has been FDA approved to be used in over-the-counter medications like Sudafed PE and Dayquil and NyQuil Severe to help relieve congestion. But now an FDA panel says it's ineffective. On Tuesday, the panel found PE doesn't work as a decongestion when taken as a liquid or pill even at high doses. This isn't the first time the effectiveness of the drug has been questioned. In briefing documents, the FDA says they've been evaluating data on the effectiveness of PE since 2007. After a group of pharmacists created a citizen's petition to have the drug removed from shelves, citing evidence that the drug was no more effective than a placebo. Fox 13 News reached out to the FDA on Wednesday and in a response, they said if oral phenylephrine is no longer considered generally recognized as safe, and effective under the conditions of use under OTC monograph M012, the FDA would issue a proposed order to amend OTC monograph M012 by removing oral phenylephrine as a grace active ingredient from that monograph. This means the FDA could pull oral decongestions that include PE from store shelves, but information on when a decision might be made was not given. Luckily, not all hope is lost if you need some decongestion. Harvard Health says antihistamines like Benadryl and Claritin can help with a stuffy nose as well as nasal sprays, but it's important to know sprays shouldn't be used for more than several days at a time. In Salt Lake City, Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.